right so what we are discussing today are is the the other most basic settings that you need to do in google analytics uh when so this is a scenario right you've just implemented uh, uh you've just ensured that you have google analytics code on <clears throat> all across your e-commerce site for example and you've taken your developers help to do that and now you are starting to see data but there are some very basic settings that you need to check in the google analytics dashboard panel before you start uh, really using using uh, google analytics right so what are these the first one is uh, e-commerce tracking uh, so the idea here is that uh, your e-commerce is being uh, you know the if you look at your e-commerce site you have the catalog and you have skus and all that if you need all that uh, to get reflected in your google analytics uh, even product sales right uh, then you need to integrate your store to the uh, google analytics so how do you do it uh, you have to go to the admin profile e-commerce uh, settings so this is how it looks okay so in e-commerce uh, in the e-commerce settings you have to ensure that these are turned on and uh, after this you have to i mean this is the first step you have to actually connect the e-commerce part uh, to your uh, google analytics and there's a little bit of programming here which you need to speak to a developer for for doing that right but uh, you have to first set this up correctly before and then talk to your developer to connect uh, the store to your uh, to your uh, google analytics right so that's the first setting the second bit is goals and um, well the idea here is that ultimately at the end of the day you want to track uh, what people are doing on the site right so as a business owner you have you want them to either fill up forms or you want them to transact or you want to you want them to stay on the site for for a for a good amount of time right so depending on what your goals are so these are the typical uh, you know f f with respect to all the goals that i just mentioned so for example if it is a form fill right so there is you have to uh, put in the actual url which people will reach after filling the form right or if it is um, you're trying to get people to spend uh, a lot of time on your site then you have to your goal has to be a certain visit duration or a certain number of pages per visit right or if if your goal is to uh, make them uh, click on a certain ad or a certain promotion that you have set up then then you need to define uh, an event by adding a snippet of code to your site right so these are the various kinds of goals and uh, to set these up you have to go to admin and then goals so this is how it looks you can you know so whatever i just described for, i mean these are some templates but otherwise these are the four kinds of uh, uh, goal types right so either destination or duration or pages per screen or event right so you have to depending on what your goal is you have to uh, set this up if it's destination then you have to when you do continue you'll have to actually put the uh, the url right so you have to actually put the url of the final destination right so this is the that was goals setting up goals next you look at uh, adwords right so the idea is that adwords is a wealth of data so and all that has to if it's reflected in google analytics so you have one integrated panel to look at all the data right so how do you do it you go to admin and then go to property and click adwords linking and click on adwords linking and then it's very straightforward you you are prompted to for your the access to your adwords and then you can connect it right 
right next is uh, site search so this is uh, a lot of this is a setting which actually people um, don't use and it's a pretty useful setting because uh, these are these can track the the searches that people are doing on your website okay so uh, you know and the a little bit of background to this is that given the privacy concerns uh, today uh, google and really all other tech companies are not sharing uh, a lot of search specific uh, data right uh, so, for example, if someone is logged in uh, to his uh, Gmail account and then doing a search and then he come, he or she comes to your site, that data is not shared because of privacy. Now, in given that background, it's important to capture the searches and to track the searches which people are doing on your site because that is completely open and Google has no or any of these companies would not have an uh, issue with uh, with that as they can't have issues with that so how do you set this up uh, go to admin and then choose the account and then you use settings so this is how it looks if you use settings and then you can enable site searching so site search tracking right so so that was internal search next is uh, campaigns so the background to this is that uh, you know every time you're doing uh, an email campaign or banner ad campaign you you know it's important that this gets tracked completely on google analytics so for that uh, there is a if you search for Google Analytics URL builder, you will get uh, this page. And uh, when you are generating the destination URLs for your email campaign, right, or for your banner ad, you need to g generate those destination URLs on this URL builder, right? So here you will need to put the source, uh, the medium. The content you have to qualify you know you have to put these uh, uh, tags right and after you do this you will actually be able to um, generate the url right? and um, that uh, so that this you have you find the generate url at the, at the bottom of the page right uh, and after doing that you can uh, that particular url then you can uh, use it as a destination URL for your email or your banner ad uh, campaigns, right? The next bit is uh, filters, right? And the biggest uh, reason for fil for taking due note of filters is that if you're designing a site or if you're developing the site, a lot of your team is actually on the site right and you would want uh, the analytics uh, data to exclude all such traffic right the traffic from your the your company's office the company's partners or you know uh, and and that's why you use a filter right so if you what you need to do is get, exclude this the ip address in analytics okay so this is where you can actually create a filter and uh, put in the filter here and so you can go to google analytics account click on the admin link and click on filters and this is how it will look right uh, the last one is seo reports via google webmaster so what happens is uh, so these are so there's google analytics and google webmaster is a separate tool which is used by web administrators and seo professionals and uh, the idea is to if you want to again see all that data within your analytics so then uh, what you need to do is and that is pretty valuable data so it gives things like which keywords give us max most impressions what our click through rates are how do we rank for individual keywords and things like those, right? So what you need to do is go to Webmaster Search Console, click on site, 
and click on search traffic. Right, so those those are the eight, uh, six or seven or eight settings that uh, are the most important settings when it comes to uh, Google Analytics. Thank you.